Joining me right now is HAL Chairman Dr. DK Sunil. So thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. A big milestone that we witnessed today. Our baby is out through NG there flying high in the sky. Uh, so firstly, your thought about it now. Yeah, this is a seminal event in our civil journey. This is now a very capable aircraft with uh, a glass cockpit, AS-4 capable. And this is our foray, big foray into the civil sector. Hmm. And this will be the backbone of the civil aviation helicopter business in the country. We see a very good business in the heli tourism as well as the uh, medvac, uh, medical emergency evacuation hmm. roles. So this is going to have a good future. Uh, so we had seen multiple questions being raised in the past as well when we talk about uh, uh, you know Dhruv as on those lines. What are the technical upgrades this time that we are seeing to ensure you know things are really going to pan out very smooth for us in the future? See, uh, civil aviation, these kind of things do happen, but we always improve. All the learnings from those uh, mm -hmm. problems we have incorporated. Mm -hmm. It has got a very good capable uh, glass cockpit which gives you a lot more visibility mm -hmm. okay. in terms of navigation and alerts. And uh, you know terrain uh, information, so it's a very capable aircraft, and all the improvements that we have done on our military helicopters have all come into this. So I can assure you, this will be a very safe air helicopter. Uh, so we recently saw in the you know when we talk about the Tejas, what really happened in the Dubai uh, asset. So mm. we are yet to hear from you on that level. So if you could really you know what what do you ascertain? What was the cause of the accident on those lines, sir? No. Uh, I can only see what you have seen on TV. This is, uh, I think there is a commission going into that. They will come out with a formal uh, uh, report on that. But the aircraft is a very stable aircraft. It has a very good safety record. It has been flying in the Indian Air Force. We have uh, more than 36 of them flying there. So we see no reason uh, to have any doubts about the safety of the aircraft. So my last question to you, when we talk about the Drew NG itself, you know, strengthening about the domestic uh, aviation uh, on those levels, how do you see this is really going to help in the economic ecosystem of the civil aviation, sir? You see, today when we can make the aircraft here, we have uh, produced the engine here, then obviously the whole ecosystem develops. So we build the, all the components come from the private sector. So there is going to be a huge ecosystem building around uh, HAL. And uh, as the market grows, we see a very good market in heli tourism. We see it in uh, medical. Yes. We see it in the normal the state governments would use it in VIP versions, mm. as well as the current one, which we are talking with uh, PHL, Pawan okay. Hans, mm. for the offshore operations. So, okay. as the minister said, there is a, a very good demand, upwards of 1,000 aircraft in the country for this. So we hope to cash in on that. So thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. So there you have a word coming in from the HIL chairman himself saying how that there are you know, bigger pictures that are really being seen in prospect of the civil aviation future.